Everyone wants a wow factor, and it's amazing how many yachts you go on board and there is no wow factor. You know, they are lovely, but they are a little bit boring. And I think when you step on board one of these big, very valuable yachts, be it a motor yacht or a sailing yacht, you know, there should, there should be a wow factor, whether it's the aft deck, the swimming pool, the owner's stateroom, but you need that. And that's what, that's what people want. They want to experience something new and different to what they've experienced on land. The yachts are getting bigger, there are more of them, and there are more clients out there wanting to charter and wanting to buy. So I think the market's in a good place. Prices are in a sensible, at a, a sensible level where buyers and sellers are sort of playing on the same playing field. So we're very optimistic about the next 12 months. <laughs> The veterans in Newton, they've done it all around here, I think. Uh, and they probably want to go out there and see what's, what's available on their yacht. Also, also, you have a generation, generational issue, sorry, whereby what the so-called millennials, you know, they are very keen to explore the uh, areas where you don't have such a high and intensive uh, um, uh, yachting uh, activity. When you build a new yacht, uh, it's really what you want to have. Uh, and uh, you actually, the customer is often the one who makes things going forward because they are daring to, uh, to, to meet what they really want on the yacht. And, uh, and this, is, uh, this is what they are trying to achieve. A few years ago, uh, we used to see most of the clients coming from Russia. Today, the, uh, it's a much broader spectrum. We're seeing clients from Europe, uh, from North America, from the Middle East. And this is really how it used to be before the financial crisis. We feel much more comfortable having uh, clients coming from a much wider range of uh, countries. And the other thing that's changed is the size of boats. Boats have got quite a lot bigger. If you go back to the 2000s, we were building predominantly boats around 37 and 40, 44 meters. Now, today, the smallest yacht we're building is uh, 50 meters.
ha a gyerek nem tudja, hogy mit csinál, és itt addig volna az egész, de addig is nem tudja, hogy a kosszabb gyerek. They want to do water sport, they want to visit a new place, they want to have a, uh, a visit to the historical uh, town. If you cruise uh, south of Italy, for example, Naples or Sicily, Florence, uh, Pisa, they like to see the town, they like to, to, to have more knowledge of the history of the country they are visiting. Then uh, if you have uh, young people which come for water toys, uh, we have plenty of that. So not special requests, but uh, everything which can be done when you are on a palace floating and can take you around uh, the area you are sailing. The clients are much more intrigued about the use of the vessel, so it's much more about functionality uh, rather than looks. Of course, looks are still important, but what can you do with the yacht is, is even more important. Uh, so we have a really big deck space on board to, to hoist uh, tenders and toys on board. And it's, um, it's really about the use of the vessel and not uh, to show up.